Hey, good, good morning to everybody. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well by God's grace. Good morning. Hey, Ernest, how are you doing? How's America? I hope you're doing well by God's grace. Um, bless you all for coming on at this moment. And I thank you for the opportunities you give to me anytime I come on. Um, I bless you all, especially those people after we are finished and then you go back there and watch and comment. Thank you so much for sharing it to, um, you know, uh, people to watch what is going on. Bless you. Bless you. You know, thank you so much. I know that the Lord um, will bless you all the time. You know. Oh, thank you. It said I'm looking blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I just came to speak with you. As a matter of fact, anytime I come to speak like this, it gives me joy. That is one of my weaknesses. One of my weaknesses is telling somebody the right thing to do. That is my addiction. Uh, but I pray that the Lord will help each and every one who is here listening to me. Um, today is my first time watching you. Oh, okay. Uh, bless you. You, are, you are even um, have my name, Dansua. Bless you. All right. Um, I hope you will enjoy yourself today. Um, if you can give me such just a small time. Let me just say this to you. It's the most simple thing that Jesus said, which is not that simple to many of us. It's very simple. I'm not trying to be religious here. I am trying to say this, to recommend this to you. If you're gay, if you're a prostitute, if you're a lesbian, if you, if you are a killer, whatsoever you are, if you're holy, you know, you need this word. And it's a word that can transform you. It's a word that can make you understand who you are and how you ought to behave. The day somebody decided to ignore you, how did you felt? The day somebody ignored you, how did you felt? If it's bad, write bad. If it is good, write good. The day you saw somebody speaking ill of you, bad about you, how did you felt? My police officers, I greet all of you. How did you feel? Did you feel good or you felt bad? Then remember, the person you ignore, the same feeling you felt, that's the same way the person felt. Is it good feeling? If it is not good, then don't do it to another person. The day somebody spoke evil about you, somebody said something very bad about you, and you, you felt so bad, and you wonder why would this person do this to me? All these things are sign, you know, they are signs to let you know it is not right to tell, do the same thing that you don't feel like somebody, you don't, you don't like somebody doing to you, you don't do to another person. There is a say in my language. When it is on your friend, when your friend is being stabbed, 
you feel like it is just a tree unless they stab you too then you understand how it feels but jesus gave us a very simple strategic way of solving problems how do you feel if you speak ill of somebody how do you feel if somebody speak ill of you most of us we are grown but sometimes we do not sit down to analyze these things one of most, one of one of the painful one is this you loved me so much but somebody said something about me and you just believed it and you ignore you decided to ignore me you loved me so much and all of a sudden you spoke about me to somebody and the person Boom, he said something bad about me. And all of a sudden, you ignore me. And he said, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Without even finding my side of the story. Or it might be that there isn't any story. The person just hates me. Or the person hates you. Knowing that if you get closer, you'll be blessed. Yet, you've concluded and say, I don't want to know who you are anymore. Does these things happen? You've lost your blessing because of what somebody said about that man, that woman that you were supposed to get closer to. And somebody said something evil especially we Ghanaians. When somebody is prospering, ah, it is juju. It is occultic. One of the most idiotic things I've ever heard in my life. I was blessing somebody. As a matter of fact, the person came to me for help. And I gave the person what she was looking for. She went home and the person who was there asked, where did you get this from? Because you have been asking and I didn't have some. We all don't have some. But how and where did you get it? And the person said, I went to this particular man and he just gave it to me willingly. He said, hey go give the thing back to the man because as long as he has given you this he's going to use you for rituals and this person ran fast and came came to me and said sir please i don't need i don't want your thing anymore i don't want it i said why he said because one of my friends says how easily you gave the thing to me you're going to use me for rituals i collected the thing and wept three days later they fought so strong because this woman couldn't tell me the person and this time she came back and said, Papa, I'm so sorry of what I've done to you because I came to you for help and this guy was a lie. I didn't know that this person was such a wicked person. And that person was a person who had been coming to me for help and I've been helping him. Because he wants to shut the door for that lady, she had to tell the lady, 
evil story about me. You see how human beings can be. What is good for you is good for me. What you can do, I can do. But they are all choices. Why is it that you are a fornicator? You know you are a fornicator. But you stop yours and come in to tell, talk about mine openly. Why? Why are you such a hypocrite? Please, I am not attacking anybody. I am saying this thing because I know most of you are going through them. I am going through them as well. I wonder. Not because the person has the pastorian office means he's better off than anybody. Listen, there is blood flowing in everybody. Thank you. Hey, Benjamin, bless you, sir. Are you with me? I am trying to say these things to you. That when you are lying on people, sit down and ask yourself, if I happen to be the one I'm lying at, the one I'm disgracing, the one I'm destroying, if it happens to be me that somebody is doing the same too, how will I feel? I need opportunity, so I open opportunity to people. Why is people like this? The God we serve in the book of Genesis, he, he, he felt so bad that he created man. He regretted creating man because there is evil in the heart of man daily, daily, planning evil, how to destroy somebody and it's becoming worse and worse and worse. I came to encourage somebody here. Regardless whatever anybody has said about you, as long as you did not die and you're still alive, carry on the mantle. Push on. You cannot explain yourself to fools. For they will not understand you. And those who seize you, they love you the most, do not need your explanation. And those who hate you, don't care how much you explain yourself. The one who loves you, just loves you the way you are, even if you're a killer, even if you're a prostitute, even if you're gay. That's how God loves his people. Just as you are. They don't even need your time. They don't deserve your time. It is painful. Yes, I know. Sometimes when they are doing what they are doing to you, you ask yourself, okay, what do they want to achieve? What, what's going on? What's happening? What's their plan? And guess what? If you want to know, they want you to stop. Because the speed that you are having, the form of speed you are taking, they are afraid of you. 
You're frightening a lot of people. Why they don't want you to get closer to that lady is because they know if the two of you comes together, you, you will blow, you, you will do so well, you will excel, you will increase. So therefore, they bring confusion. The enemy always brings confusion. Remember, a person who can be able to convince you to make you know how bad somebody is, is bad. Yes. Oh my God. I don't know if you understand. A killer does not kill everybody. <laughs> I pray God he'll help you. A killer does not kill everybody. There are certain people, they get killed just for that killer to be called killer. <laughs> Even a serial killer is not meant to kill everybody. So therefore, what do I mean? He killed that one. As long as you're not dead, you are not killed. I hope you get what I'm saying. Study your scriptures well. And you understand what I mean. Everything that was evil, everything, any great man that was able to see his greatness was tested by the devil. Let me use the word tempted by the devil. To review the ability in the person. Today, I'm here to speak to somebody here. Whosoever, anybody under the sun, Remember that it's not everyone that will love you. It is not everyone that will be with you. But when you find the person you believe you can get closer to and prosper in life, do not let any amount of words that would deter you of getting closer to the person. Remember, the blessings of God is through men unto us. Let me repeat. The blessings of God is through men unto us. Let me repeat. The blessings of God through men unto us. The blessings of God is through men unto us. So remember, position yourself and look for that man that the blessings of God will come through unto you. Stop ignoring and stop listening to people or else you will lose your blessing that God has prepared a man to release into you. Are you hearing me? There is an evil there is an evilness. Yes, there is an evilness. But don't forget, there is goodness. There is goodness. Who told you there is no goodness? Find out. There is goodness. David said, 
Yet though, if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The Lord is with you. Your enemies will confess at the right time. Listen. Let me just explain something to you about myself. God help me. There are a few weaknesses I have, but I think it's how I was brought up. Some people say, a man of your caliber, why are you so down to earth? Some people say, a man of your caliber, why is it so easy to see you? Some people fight, work hard to even get my number, just to call me. I know some lady, it's not only ladies, I mean both male and female. Somebody was chatting me on Instagram and I was chatting the person back. Sometimes it's not only me, um, I myself and my PA, we, we chat, you know, when I'm, I'm busy, he does the chatting. And um, sometimes I do as well. At this particular time, I was chatting the person. And then as I, ch I was chatting the person, he said, I really want to talk to you. I want to see your face, you know, to be sure if really it is you. And I said, okay. Then I called a video call. And the person was not picking the phone. He wasn't picking the video call. She wasn't picking it. Then she sent me a message and said, no, I can't pick it. No, I can't. Be. I'm not sure it's you. I don't believe it's you. If it's truly you, you will not call me. I said, huh? How? So I asked, why and how? He said, a man of your caliber. No, you, you are a great man. How can you be talking to me? And I said, oh my word. You asked me, you want to talk to me? I gave you the opportunity to talk to you. What is your problem? Sometimes shyness or timidity can make us lose the opportunities. Sometimes it is idiotic. No, I'm just giving you the respect. No, this is not respect. This is this is insane. This is crazy. When the men of God or men of people of my caliber decide not to talk to you, not to let you get closer to them, you say it's a problem. But when they freely allow you to talk to you, to be close to you, that one is also a problem. So what do you want us to do now? That's strange. And, oh my God. And, you know, one time my friend said something to me. One of my friends is really rich anyway. I love him so much. And he said to me, bro, I saw a young lady who was really, you know, crush on me. She likes me so much. And so I, I invited her to come closer to come close and then um, she came and I told her how I want to go out with her and how I want to, you know, you know, marry her. And the girl started crying and she asked the girl why. She said, I, I don't believe you like me. He said, why? He said, because if I look at you and you look at me, we are not compatible. We are not the same, the same class. We are not in the same class. So, hey, Yakubu, hey. Hey, the man, <laughs> bless you. You know, we are not in the same class. And so therefore, no, I cannot, I cannot. As the, 
this young man asked, we are not in the same class, so I'm not your class. He said, no, no, that's not what I meant. You are too rich and you are too intelligent and me, I'm coming from a poor home. That is idiotic and that is insane. What, do you, what are you looking for? First of all, you are crushing the person. The person is not talking to you and now you will have a problem with that. I salute you. You know? And so, I don't understand. And these things happen over and over and over and over again. Yes. Over and over again. There's one of my friends, he said, we, they went to the, she, he and she went into the room and she saw her bed, his bed. And he said, is this the bed we are going to sleep on? He said, yes. He said, no, 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 I'm afraid, I'm afraid. No, this bed, no, no, I'm not coming on. No, 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 I'm afraid. So the girl said, no, we better go because the bed is too nice. For me, I always sleep on the floor. Oh my God. Why is it that when there is a blessing coming for you, you are looking for case? I don't know. Timidity is stupidity. Yes. Somebody gave you a job. You've been looking for a job for all these years. <laughs> oh yes, so serious, Yagu. You've been looking for a job all these years. And you find you found one. They give you opportunity, you are being paid. And then somebody in the workplace who has also come there to look for a job decide to leave the place because he's angry. You, when they gave you the salary at the first time, you were so happy of the salary. But this guy comes out and says, the salary is too small, so me, I'm going. You came to meet this guy there. It's too small. And his salary is bigger than yours. And then you too, you start telling the you two start telling yourself, the salary is too small. So if you are going, I'm also going. Oh! And you will leave and go. And go and struggle to look for another job. Whereby that salary was what you requested, you wanted. And you were even giving more than that. Do you see this thing happening to you? And you, you blame your pastor for it? You blame God for it. You blame people for it. Are you okay? Are you, are you all right? There are people when you lay your hands, you lay your legs, you lay your stomach, anything on them. They will never prosper because their mindset is not okay. The attitude of connecting themselves to people is not all right. Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. This is serious. So the way you are gossiping about that particular person, things you are saying about that person as you know it is not true. If people begin to speak the same ill at you, are you going to be fine? Are you going to be okay? Is that okay? For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Lord. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty. When you are doing something to somebody, 
ask yourself if it was done to you, will you be okay with it? Ask yourself. Debbie, happy birthday already, already. Bless you. I love you so much. How is your partner and everybody? I hope all of you are doing well. Bless you. Odro, last time I saw your dad anyway, but um, because you didn't introduce him to me, I couldn't go and greet him. Yes. I am saying this to you. Please listen to this. Let me call Debbie. Let me call Debbie. No, he's not. Um, if, if you can request, I would love to call you. There's somebody, there's something about her I love. Every little thing you do for her, she remembers and she appreciates it. And that young lady there, she will go afar. I wouldn't be surprised when a day comes and they say she's going to stand for presidency. I wouldn't be surprised because she's a good person. She's a good person who can let things be done. I am telling you, folks. I am telling you. Why? Let me just say this. You have a sister, isn't it? So if you go see your sister sleeping with a boy, would you record your sister and post it on social media? If it is no, why would you do the same thing to your boy, your girlfriend? Would you insult your father? I, I see sometimes I, I watch social media and I, I look at some people who are so wicked. They insult anybody. They come on social media, they will insult anybody. But when somebody begins, they insult people's fathers. But when somebody comes to attack them and attack their mother or their father, that's when they also come out and say, you can't insult my mother. You can't insult my father. Then I ask myself, what about the people's fathers and mothers you have insulted all these years? If it is fair. And why would you even insult people's fathers? Why would you fabricate stories just to destroy people, especially the vloggers? These so-called vloggers and bloggers. They are, they are team, they are group. You will see today all of them fighting together. And you, when they are fighting, don't go there. Don't make any comment because you are the one they are going to attack. They are going to, they're going to attack. You see them coming back together as friends more than before. And they will go after somebody else. And they are at the back looking for money, taking money. What you've not done, they will say, yes, if, you, if we have a lot of evidence, or we have so many. And you know, they don't have anything on you yet. Because you will lose so much. You say, you know what? No problem. Just, is it money? Take it and just go. Yet they will still disgrace you more. While they are disgracing you, the one that is disgracing you is part of them. And that one will, be, will call the other person and say, do it more. And I'll come and insult you and make it look like it is us. You know, we are defending the person so that we can take money. This is what they do. This is what they do. And then you who is watching them, you will say, I am disappointed in Abia Mampoma Danso. You are disappointed in me? Do you even know what you're talking about? Until they do the same to you, that's when you realize that 
You were supposed to be disappointed in yourself. If truly somebody says he loves me and I've done something bad, if, the, if it is not because of wickedness, the person will come to me direct whilst there is nobody there and make me know my mistake as long as I'm not a killer who will kill the person. Even if it is so, there is police station. There is police station. Civil case is also there. If you can't go to police station. I am telling you. We should listen to these things. People have killed themselves for because, because of these wicked people, vloggers. Especially those who give commentaries. It is not a warning, it is not encouragement, it's not something to be careful of, but the, the agenda is, let me insult this one, let me disgrace this one, let me destroy this one. Why are we like this? And you too, your mind is too shallow. You are too, you are a baby. Whatever anybody says, you just believe. You don't want to even verify. You just believe. Gets to a point, I don't want to get closer to that man. Oh. I, don't, I don't want to get closer to this person. Oh. There's a man called Nigel Gezi. There's a young man called Nigel Gezi. I know this young man. I know this great man. I know this man, man of God. Upon everything people are saying about him, will not deter me of me standing here to say, I know him. I love him. If you know him, tell him that I've said this. I love him. It doesn't matter whether any, whatsoever anybody is saying about him. I love him. There is a man called, me, I wouldn't call him prophet. No, I wouldn't call him prophet. Because he's above that. He's a father. He's a father. Owusu Bempa. Prophet, Reverend Doctor, Prophet Owusu Bemba. He's a father. When he started ministry, I wasn't here. I love him. Regardless whatsoever anybody says. You, you know, love covers all sins. If I say I love him, I have made him to know. I love him. It might be he doesn't love me, but I do. Because I admire the work he does. And the insult he receives, yet still strong. He may be fake to you, but he's not fake to me because I can touch him. And I have touched him before. I want you to get this clear. Archbishop Duncan William, I love him. I love him. I cannot stop mentioning names. 
You know, there is a man I have, I've grown to love so much. Dr. Dufo. I, I love him. So, regardless what you think of him, that I love him. It is what you think. So, your thinking will not stop me of loving the person. That is love. Love has no limit. President Kofo, I love him. Love has no limit. There are people I love. I love my kids. Regardless what they do, there is nothing that can stop me loving my kids. They may do something that I may not like. Doesn't mean I don't have to love them. And it's not a force. It is me, my choice. And it's so painful that when you love somebody, somebody doesn't love that person. Because he doesn't love the person, he brings his hate against you. That's not fair. That is not fair. That is not fair. People are disgracing people because the person is connected to you. The last time you post somebody's picture you love so much and somebody comes on and begin to make bad comments about the person. Why? 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 We came into this world to impact the world and leave our print here. When somebody say any bad things about me to you, please, if you care to know, find a way to find out from my side because there are evil people everywhere. I said for an adolescent, let me tell you, real gold are in the mud. So the more they say I am not okay, there is realness. There is something in me that you need. Don't let their words turn you away from me. The Jesus we serve, ha. Huh? Muhammad that the Muslims say all these great people they said evil things about them yes you can never be great without being disgraced to have grace. You can never be great without being disgraced to have grace. Yes. So you must understand that disgrace is also attached to your greatness and your grace. So be strong no matter what. Keep it up. You are working. Don't stop. The workplace where you are, work as if you are the owner of that job, that business. Those that will come and say to you, ah, why are you holding, carrying this load, all this job, as if you are the owner of this job, that person is against you. That person is wicked. Move away from such people. And remember, if you do good, 
is to yourself. If you do bad, it's to yourself. All right, we are enrolling in our school, Abiyam Institute of Technology. Um, you, you get opportunity um, if you call um, the number, um, the number to call is 059-420-3353. If you could call that number, if you can't call that number, please, you have any um, daughter or son who wants to school, want to do fashion, media, um, health and social care, um, nursing, um, um, any course, please call and you can enroll yourself or any of your um, children. The Lord bless you. And every Wednesday we meet to pray. And every Sunday we meet to pray. And I tell you, God is doing marvelous things. God bless you so much. Um, I can't wait to see you wherever you are. The Lord bless you. I love you. Bye-bye.